Loretta Volleyball hits the road to take on Lincoln County, plus Summertown and Lawrence County get ready for week three of the high school football season. It's coming up next on X Sports Tonight. Going the distance with local sports. Loretto Mustangs. Summertown Eagles. Lawrence County Wildcats. This is the X Sports Network. Welcome to X Sports tonight. I'm AJ Good, starting things off with high school volleyball, where the Lady Mustangs of Loretto hit the road and once again this season. This time they were going out of their district to take on a very tough team in Lincoln County. Lady Mustangs and the Lady Falcons meeting up in Fayetteville tonight here in the first set. Mallory Corbin going to come away with the kill for Loretto. Then back come the Lady Mustangs and Kate Cheatham on the other side. That one going to fall in for the kill. Then Alyssa Green here with the match tied at 24. Gets that one to fall in for the kill. Then Aubrey Ezel going to follow that up with an ace. So Lady Mustangs take the first set 26 to 24. After dropping the second set here in the third, Emily Kozar going to come away with the kill. Then Becca Heinemann going to drop that one right on the line for the kill. Then another one here from Anna K. Cheatham as that one trickles down. Then Green here with the match at 25-24 gets that one to fall in for the kill as they take the third set 26-24. to In the fourth, it's Heinemann serving it up and dropping that one in for the ace. And some good defense here for Allie Weathers gets the arm on it and that one is going to drop in for the kill. Then J.C. Franklin. Going to serve it up and drop this one in for the ace. Then with the set and the match on the line, it's Franklin again this time. It is another ace. So Lady Mustangs take the fourth set, 25-21, to 21, and the match three sets to one. Coming up next, we switch things over to high school football to check in with Lawrence County and Summertown. Are you tired of missing out on family life just to be treated like another truck number? Since 1986, Southeast Cares has been a family-operated business based in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Being family owned ourselves, we understand the importance of family, which is why we value it above all else. With our large number of dedicated lanes and our friendly staff, we are able to evenly divide your home time with the amount of time you spend on the road. We offer multiple benefits with large company pay, all while keeping a small company environment. For more information, visit our website at southeastcares.com or check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Renright Equipment has all the tools you need to get the job done. From bobcats to trenchers to augers to lifts, we have a large variety of equipment for every project, big or small. Need a new mower? We have you covered there too. With great brands Hustler and Big Dog, Rent Ride is ready to serve all your equipment needs. Call today and reserve your equipment from Rent Ride Equipment in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available in the Apple App Store and Google Play. To save on Fuel for Work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn $0.05 cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. To get started, visit fuelrewards.com pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. From our humble beginnings to today, Parks Lumber Company has continuously served Lawrence and surrounding counties for over a century. Although we started as a small lumber yard in 1896, we have grown to include everything you need to make your dream project come to life. No matter your building needs, our experienced staff will be with you every step of the way to ensure you receive the highest customer service and attention to detail you deserve. Visit us at 106 Second Street or on Facebook. We guarantee you will see working with PLC is as easy as one, two, three. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Welcome back to X Sports tonight. Now switching things over to high school football where Summertown and Lawrence County will be back in action in week number three. Each side will be starting region play as Lawrence County will hit the road to take on Lincoln County while Summertown will hit the road to take on Hickman County. 
The Wildcats are coming off their first loss of the season on the road at Loretto this past Friday, but the Purple and Gold have no time to saw because they get ready to start region play. Lawrence County will head the rival Lincoln County on Friday night. It will be their opener in Class 5A, playing a chance to get back on the right track. And despite the loss to the Mustangs, this team is ready to move on and focus on the task at hand. That's right. We've still got a whole lot, eight games uh, in regular season. Of course, I, I told them we can get every goal uh, we set for this year except for uh, we don't have the Van Johnson Cup, but that gives us something to uh, work for for next year. Uh, but we're going to put that behind us and get ready for uh, for Lincoln County this week. And across the county in Summertown, where they will have their first foray in their new region on Friday night, the Eagles will head to Hickman County in search of win number one in 2023. This team has shown a lot of improvement in the first couple of weeks despite the two losses. Now it's their turn to show everyone what they have during the most important time of the year. Everybody wants to make playoffs and, and that kind of thing, but... Uh, uh, like I said, the bottom line for us is, you know, the, all the peripheral stuff, we're trying to just block out and just say, hey, let's work on my attitude today. Let's work on getting better today. And if we can uh, do that and control what we can control, then uh, we'll be going in the right direction. That does it for X Sports tonight. Have a great evening. We'll see you guys once again tomorrow night. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network.